Hi everyone. I hope you are having a great day today and welcome back to my new video. On this tutorial, I'm gonna show you sign iOS and fix unable to install eSign on iPhone easily with new method. This method uses a DNS to block Apple's detection check if a cert is revoked, if this is disabled. I found the tutor from Reddit and I will try it worked for me, so I will teach you how to install eSign on your device. First, open this link. You can see full guide how to install eZine. I will put the link on description. This method uses already revoked certificates to install apps, hence why they do not get revoked. This works on iPad and iPhone and has been tested and approved. Step 1. Please download the DNS. Here you can find two DNS. New DNS and old DNS. So let's try the latest DNS first. If the first DNS doesn't work, you can try the old DNS to install eSign. Install DNS on settings. Profile downloaded. And install. After install, the DNS go back to the guide page. And download eSign from link below. On this page, you can get eSign link download. It has quite a few certs to choose from just get one that works. Some will fail to install. Just keep trying until you get one to install. Do not use the live link this certificate is currently signed. Do not use that certificate. It will work, but if the certificate gets revoked, your apps will get revoked. This is what some other signing services use and are subject to revoke. Here, I will try select this design link. If you see unable to install, it means the DNS don't work with your device. Then try to change to old DNS. If you can't install a sign with this DNS, you can try remove the app and remove the DNS. You can't use both DNS at once because DNS will collide and this trick won't work. So please delete the new DNS and reinstall the old DNS. Download the old DNS and install again on the settings. After that, go back to a sign link and install a sign again. If you're still unable to install, please try another link until you see untrusted developer. Please pay attention to this point. If you still fail to install a sign, maybe you missed this important step. If you see untrusted developer, it means the eSign works for you with this DNS. Verify the eSign on the settings. General, VPN and Device Management, and Click Trust. Please remember the name of the certificate you verified earlier. For example, I have verified eSign with HDC Life Certificate. Because you will need to enter this certificate into eSign for the next process. After that, launch eSign. You need to import certificate to install IPF files. Go back to assign page, then download zip certs. After download, open assign again. And import the zip files to assign. Unzip the certificate. Then select the certificate that you verified earlier. So, in this video, I will import HDC cert to my assign. The certificate has been imported. And now, the assign ready to install IP of files. Then import IP of files to assign. Go to apps menu on the bottom. Click signature and install. If you see message, the certificate has been revoked. It means the DNS has been successfully bypassed the certificate. And now the IP of files has been installed. And this trick works on your device. What about if the assign revoke again? To fix this issue, you must use airplane mode, turn off the Wi-Fi and data if you restart your device. If you restart your device and you turn on Wi-Fi or data, then when the device is turned on, it can make your assign revoke. Because this is how anti-revoke works in eSign. So please turn off Wi-Fi and data when you want to restart your device. 
You can find the full guide link in the description of this video. Hopefully, Design is successfully installed on your device with this method. Okay, thanks for watching this vide. Subscribe this channel to get more update. See you on the next time.